this is a regular size Pez dispenser. And this was a bad idea. Let's go make something weird. So this is a Pez dispenser. It dispenses this chalky type candy. It's not really that great. These are mostly just popular because of the dispensers themselves, not the candy that's inside of them. But when I saw these when I was little, I always thought it would be cool to have one of my own. So I did eventually make one of myself and I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. I even made this cool little animation for it and everything to display it. It might be a little bit too detailed for the style of a Pez dispenser, but it's still really cool to have and I keep it on my shelf and everything. What I always found interesting was how I took a scan of my head and I scaled it down to the size of a Pez dispenser and thought, what if instead of scaling me down to the size of Pez dispensers, what if scaled a Pez dispenser up to the size of me? So that's what I'm gonna to try to do in this video. I don't know how big of a project this is gonna be. It seems like it's gonna take a long time to do, but this time rather than getting a 3D scan of my head, I'm gonna to try to model my head up from scratch and then maybe it'll have that more cartoony type style that most Pez dispensers have. But before I do that, it'll be a little bit easier to model myself up if I, I trim up some of this real quick. So let me just, hey, yeah. All right, that'll be easier to model. All right, to start this out, we are going to do the most important piece, which is modeling up my head. Now, I have some modeling experience with doing things from scratch, but as far as heads go, I'm not the greatest. So a while ago, I found this really awesome plugin for Blender called Face Builder, and it is actually really, really cool. So what we can do here is actually line this up to match our face. I'm not gonna go super deep into detail on how to do this. There's plenty of tutorials on how to use this plugin, but essentially what it's doing is it's allowing us to, rather than building a head completely from scratch, we're just editing a head to match our head. And it comes out with a very impressive, accurate result. I wouldn't call it as good as getting a perfect 3D scan of your head, but since we're trying to make this a little bit more simplified for the Pez dispenser, I think this might be the better option, at least in this case. So using multiple points of view like this will help us to slowly make it more and more accurate. All right, honestly, like that looks pretty good to me. I mean, if we pop this in real quick, I mean, like you can see, I mean, like that's pretty accurate to my head, I think. I think I'll probably clean it up at least a little bit and probably give myself some hair and my beard and everything, like just to give it a little bit of dimension there. And I think we'll be done with this portion. So we'll go take care of that real quick. Hello. All right, so I believe I've finished up the head here. It actually looks really nice. I'm very pleased with how the hair turned out. I don't typically do organic 3D modeling like this that often, so I, I'm very proud of how it turned out. Now, these are still separate things, and that looks like a weird like cookie monster type sort of thing. So I still gotta bring this over maybe in a mesh mixer or something to clean up a couple things. But I've also done a little bit of off-camera work, uh, just, a, just a little bit, uh, just modeling up a couple things here and there. <laughs> this did legitimately take a good long time to do, but this is a fully functional Pez dispenser as far as I'm aware. The only things that I have not modeled up here are things that I don't think would actually work in 3D printed form. So I'm either just not going to include a spring at all, or I'm going to like put like a real spring in it. I don't know, I haven't completely figured that out, but that's gonna be a future Austin problem. But what's relevant to us right now is this little insert that I've made that will actually turn our head into a Pez dispenser head. All right, so I've got it all pulled up over here in Mesh Mixer, so I think we can pop in, yeah. So this is my head. We gotta get everything scaled down to the right size. Currently the Pez dispenser is like real Pez dispenser size. So we're gonna start there and then we'll scale everything up. We wanna do like, something like that-ish. That's what we're going with. All 
All right, so this, I believe, is a finished Pez head. That looks pretty good. So let's get this scaled up to the correct size. Now, this scale that I'm doing for everything else is, if I could go. All right, so I've brought that up to scale. I am mildly worried about being able to fit this on my printer now. Oh no, I thought I, dang it, I thought I scaled everything properly so that this would not be an issue. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. What do I need to do? I need to... Okay, it literally took hours to figure out how I was gonna split this up while keeping everything exactly how I wanted it. But we at least have it split up now. Um, I think every piece is gonna take at least an entire roll of filament. I greatly underestimated how much time and material this project was gonna take. I thought this was gonna be at least fairly simple, but good grief. So I guess we go ahead and start the first one. So let's go do that. <laughs>
So I thought I'd pop in here and actually explain how I'm gonna assemble this thing. I thought I was gonna have to make my own spring using this mold that I 3D printed, but then I realized that the wire that I got was actually bendy enough on its own, so I'm just gonna use it as is, I guess. I don't know, it's probably gonna fail me at some point, but it's at least working right now, and that's all that really matters. Then when it comes to sliding the inner sleeve into the stand, I actually managed to get it to work just the same as a regular Pez dispenser does. You pop this little notch in, and then the back slides in very slowly, and then it's just locked all together like that that's it very shocked to see that it actually functions the same as a regular Pez dispenser and it pushes the thing up like it's supposed to. The difficult thing was actually getting these little pegs to work. They're supposed to slide onto the head, but things can't bend that way. So I took them off and made them a little thing that you can screw on, but this design actually had a couple flaws. So I redesigned it with the nut stuck inside of it and now it's really easy to find the hole. You can put that in and it, it works great. I can't actually show you how it's assembled because it's inside of the head, but this is what it would look like from the inside. I can slide the head on just like this and then I've got the difficult task of like reaching down in here and getting it to assemble, but it all seemed like it went together. Oh boy, <laughs> this thing is absolutely massive. Like I knew it was gonna be big, but like once it's all assembled, like it really hits hard. <laughs> but I mean, like it works and everything as it's supposed to. There's plenty of things that went wrong in this project uh, and I wish could have gone differently. But in the end, I mean, like I'm really proud of this still, like uh, despite all of its flaws and all of the hiccups that we had. Uh, <laughs> I still feel weird about having such a huge monument to myself in my office. It feels like having one of those like giant oil paintings of yourself above your mantle. It's like, who does that? Apparently me. I mean, like this, this is like the modern equivalent of that. No, that's not. I don't know. While you guys are still here, I mean, there's a bunch of cool announcements. I mean, for one thing, we passed 10,000 subscribers, which is really cool. I really appreciate that. I, I want to do some type of giveaway. I, I want to give back to you guys in some way. So I'm gonna figure that out. So be looking out for some sort of announcement on that. And for anyone not aware, I am going to the open sauce event this weekend. I'm bringing this guy, I'm bringing the crock hat, and of course I'm bringing Coco. If you visit my booth, I do have a bunch of stickers that I'm bringing, so uh, you can come grab one of those. And just between us, I also have these open sauce robots wearing croc hats that I made. I have a limited supply, but to all the people that come to my booth and say like the secret password or something like that, I'll, I'll, you guys get one of those. I don't wanna give them out to just anybody, so I wanna give them out to just the people that uh, are actually watching my videos and stuff. So. How about if you come up and you just say spider monkey? If you say that, then I'll give you one of these guys. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe, go check out my Patreon. I've got lots of behind the scenes stuff there. I will also have the download link for all of my Pez stuff over there for my higher tier supporters. If you guys wanna make your own Pez dispenser, like normal size or this big, whatever you wanna do. But with that, I, I think we're all done here. So, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. You should check out some of my other videos. This one up here is pretty cool. That one's also probably cool. I don't know. It's just whatever they're telling you to watch. Um. Ooh, we can too.